Well, good Monday to you. I'm meteorologist Chrissy Kohler. Thanks for checking out your on-demand forecast. Uh, the big story this week is going to be the heat that's building across western Montana. We're starting to see it today, and it's going to continue uh, all the way actually into next weekend. But we do have a couple other features we're watching today. A uh, system moving through is going to bring us partly cloudy skies during the day today, and even the chance for some afternoon thunderstorm development. So what's kind of going on here in western United States is we've got that ridge of high pressure down to our south. That is bringing us all of that heat. We've got the part, lots of sunshine building in yesterday, but we are watching a disturbance move through that ridge of high pressure. It's moving out of Idaho and Oregon this morning, moving from the southwest up to the northeast. And so we're going to see that increase in cloud cover through the day, as well as that chance for thunderstorms. Now we could see them as early as late morning and continuing into the afternoon hours. So here we go with a look at your future cast. You see through the morning hours, we see those partly cloudy skies move in and then we fire up those scattered storms as we head into the afternoon hours. Again, I think future cast a little slow on it and in fact doesn't quite give us much in the way of it, but we are going to see those scattered storms pretty much all across western Montana through the afternoon hours and then tapering overnight tonight. In fact, clearing out overnight tonight, making for a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Now with these thunderstorms, we do have uh, some fire issues to talk about. Red flag warning in effect from noon until midnight tonight. With these storms, we're expecting frequent lightning, wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, and unfortunately, not much rain. So these are the perfect ingredients to spark new fires, as well as spread new and current ones quickly, uh, including those low humidities as well. Not good news for our fire conditions here in western Montana. And you'll notice it is all across western Montana and into uh, south central Montana as well. So definitely be vigilant uh, if you see smoke. Make sure you're reporting it quickly so firefighters can get on top of that. Otherwise, the heat going to be the big issue. We've got 90 in Kalispell and Hamilton today, 93 in Missoula, so right around where we were yesterday. 91 for the high in Drummond and Sula today, 87 for the high in Phillipsburg. So most of us seeing those set 80, set 90s, a few places lingering in the upper 80s, 90 in Sealy Lake, 87 in Polson, 95 in Eureka and Libby and Plains. And it's only going to continue to go up up from there. This week in KPAX country, we're feaster, featuring the Western Montana Fair. It gets kicked off tomorrow. Today, though, here in Missoula, we've got 93 for the high, 56 overnight tonight, and really going to be a nice mild night for everyone here in Western Montana. Mid 50s overnight tonight with those clear skies. Beautiful start tomorrow morning. As we head into the day tomorrow, that system moving off to the east, taking a couple of those showers out into eastern Montana, and that ridge could, brings that sunshine back into the forecast tomorrow. So we're looking at full on sunshine, even a couple degrees warmer for your Tuesday. 92 for the high in Kalispell, 93 in Hamilton and 95 for the high in Missoula. As we head into Wednesday, Wednesday, the hottest day in this forecast period, we've got temperatures into the mid to upper 90s, even some places pushing that triple digit mark yet again this summer. Of course, it is August, which is typically when we see these potential for the triple digit days. As we head into the later part of the week, still into the 90s here in the Missoula and Bitterroot Valleys. A couple degrees cooler up into the flathead with those highs in the upper 80s, but you'll notice we get a few more clouds also to end out the work week.